Y'all need to listen up. This is real life. Y'all doing dumb shit just for views and likes. Any topic, you know that we on it. No matter the subject, you know that we on it. We on it. Eyes are colder when the kid plot. Yo, we can't stop, man. Y'all know we the baddest. We give it a hundred, no capping. Welcome to Stop the Madness. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stop the Madness. I am your host, The Kid Plot. My co-host, Isaac Cotto. Back again. Listen, what are we talking about today? Bro, it's NFL kickoff Thursday. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't wait. <laughs> yes, today. So, today. I, you know, I got I got the Chiefs. Who you got? I, in fact, I got the I got, Chiefs. I got, I got the Chiefs. Lions. So. Even though Travis Kelsey's out. Yes, I got the Lions. And Chris Jones ain't playing either. And I love the HBO Hard Knocks on the Lions. You you talking about the jet the Jets? Oh, that was the Jets. It was the Jets. I was Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. I was watching on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know, each NFL team on yeah, YouTube was yeah. basically doing their version of uh, Hard okay. Knocks. Yeah, bro, I'm I'm in on the Lions. They looking good. They are, but I think it's gonna be the same old Lions. You think so? You don't think they're gonna win more than seven or eight games? They might win eight, but I I don't know if that's gonna be enough to I, get in a wild card spot. I I think they could hit ten. But we'll see. Let, they gotta first c- overcome the Chiefs. Oh, well, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no Kelsey's a well, big but, deal. But the Chiefs are in the AFC. The the Lions are I'm in the just NFC. Saying, but it's gonna tell you it's gonna be a big win yeah. to start to see. It's like like what the Buffs yeah. did with, with Oh Deion. yeah, yeah. If they win if they win tonight, that's a that, statement. That's for a real. statement game. Anyway, so besides that. <laughs> like and subscribe too, guys. Yes. Uh, this <laughs> is not an NFL channel, but we are <laughs> NFL fans. Anyway, yeah. real quick, um what we got on the uh, the agenda. We got um first off. You know, we know about the tragedy in Hawaii, the yes. big you know, wildfires, f- wildfires mm-hmm. that destroyed thousands and thousands of homes and is a tragedy. But there's a video that's pretty, for some reason, just became super hot where you got Oprah and The Rock asking mm-hmm. for donations. Mm-hmm. And apparently it's like a controversial thing. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to talk about that. And then uh, we got the the theme of the Passport Bros came across a video, which was kind of funny when I, when I saw it. And we got that video to go look at. Right. And then lastly, man, just recently, there's this guy and these videos going on about Barack Obama <laughs> smoking crack and having homosexual <laughs> sex. We're going to react to those. We're going to react yes. to those. So stay yes. tuned. It's going to be a good, good podcast. Yes. Let's rock. All right. Let's play the first video. Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson, you know, the guy that plays the same character in every decided to take it upon themselves to ask you for your money. We have created the People's Fund of Maui. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. Please don't tell me I just saw a billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire begging the average everyday citizen for donations that can barely get by. It seems like our beloved actor, The Rock, might have found himself in some hot water after taking an unexpected dip into the drama pool with none other than the queen of talk show herself, Oprah Winfrey. Get ready for the tea because this story is sizzling. The Rock, known for his legendary muscles and action-packed movies, has unintentionally found himself in the middle of a scandal that's hotter than a Maui volcano. Apparently, he and Oprah are now entangled in some eyebrow-raising, alleged shady dealings concerning a mysterious fire in the beautiful paradise of Maui. Who would have thought, right? So what exactly is going on? In recent hours, the internet has been set ablaze by a video that has left many people scratching their heads in disbelief. The illustrious Oprah Winfrey and the ever popular Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock, have taken center stage, and their latest endeavor has sent shockwaves through the online community. Brace yourselves, folks, for the drama surrounding the enigmatic People's Fund of Maui. Yes, you heard that right. A video surfaced featuring Oprah and Dwayne discussing their grand plans for what they've so audaciously christened the Mm. People's Fund of Maui. We have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. Now, before we dive into the juice... Pause it real quick. So, clearly, you know, based on that first reaction, that the first two reactions that, that I that played, so people are having an issue with, you know, a billionaire like Oprah Winfrey. Uh, I think she's a multi-billionaire. I think she's worth like $2 billion or a little more. Mm-hmm. Um, has like a $130 million house. I think she has like six homes. Um, and then The Rock, obviously, is net worth, I think it said $800 million. So the people are not really liking the fact that people with that amount of money, that amount of resources, the majority of their friends are just as rich as them. Um, and they're asking for Maori relief donations from everyday people. 
they're having an issue with that. So I'm curious to know, what do you <laughs> think just, about that? All right. So let me ask you, you're, you're pretty popular on Instagram. How many, about roughly how many followers The Rock has on Instagram? I think he's at um, 308, I think he's at 380 million or 390 million. Okay. All right. So Something they rounded off 400 million followers mm -hmm. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many Oprah has. It. Mm -hmm. I, I figured, say Oprah got 30 to 50 million mm -hmm. followers, right? So you got 450 million followers. Mm -hmm. They are probably some of the most popular individuals on the planet. Mm -hmm. When tragedy strikes, it's for 30 years. I mean, I can go back to we are the world. Mm -hmm. We are the children. <laughs> they, they, there wasn't a poor motherfucker in that group singing. Yeah. They were all rich. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They were singing to feed the kids in Africa. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what's the issue. You have super popular personalities yeah. who happen to be super rich. And guess what? I, I think I read they each donated $10 million, which is a lot more than I donated. No, it was $5 million. Okay, $5 mm -hmm. million. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Okay, they started out with $5 million, probably more than, I don't know what the government apparently is going to try to give each family 800 bucks or some bullshit like that. Okay. But what is the big... They you, they are on the biggest platforms. Mm -hmm. if, if each individual donates $1... You know, they have access. The, the idea is two people that are using their humongous platform. 9-11 happens. Everybody's on TV asking for donations. Mm -hmm. Tragedy happens. It is customary yeah. to have. What's the difference if someone is worth $100 million or three, $500 million? It's the fact that they're super famous and popular asking people to donate. Because if they don't ask, probably people donate. But guess what? If... 50,000 people more donate because they go ahead and made this promo. It's only going to help the people. I don't know what is the issue. Well, the problem is that there's been, there's a lot of bad, it's a bad reputation in the past with these relief um, donation, you know, websites or whatever, where this money doesn't even go to the people that are actually in need. So that's been actually, if you do some research, you'll see that there's been a lot of you know, donations that Fraud. people have sent that have been fraudulent. Sure. So that's one reason. And then secondly, if you're trying to raise a whatever amount of dollars to help, right? You have, I think that, I just think it's the wrong messengers. I think it shouldn't have been Oprah. And I don't think it should have been The Rock either because of how rich, how filthy rich both of them are. They can, and they only put five, you know what $5 million is to Oprah? It's nothing. It's like ten she bucks. She probably it's earns like, that in interest. It's like ten a bucks. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like ten bucks to you. Yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? And and round the same for the rock. So when you say, "Oh, they gave five million. That's more than me." Yeah, because five million to them is nothing. So my point is, when you ask everyday people that are living paycheck to paycheck to donate, and you're worth the amount of money you can pay, you can donate a hundred million dollars, and it won't even phase you. If you can donate a hundred million dollars, and it won't even phase Oprah. The Rock can donate donate virtually the same, and it won't even phase him. So what I'm saying, the problem I think that the reason why people are reacting that way is because you look at it like, bro, you could donate between the two of you two hundred million dollars. You got a bunch of friends that could easily donate five, ten million dollars a piece because all your Oprah's got a plenty of billionaire friends. You see what I'm saying? And 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 all you got to do is reach out to them, and I'm sure they'll be willing to help if the money is really going towards that. Now I'm not saying it's not. But people are doubting that it'll really go towards that. So I think that's where the issue is. There's, it's not a coincidence that a lot of people disagree with it. Um, I think it's two issues you're talking about. Okay. So fraud is one issue, right? Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. But the, the videos that we're reacting to mm -hmm. were not related to fraud. It was more like, how can we have these super rich people asking? Well, I, I didn't know there was commercials only for super rich people to ask super rich people mm -hmm. for donations. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's a commercial asking anybody. I see it about dogs, mm -hmm. about kids that need to eat yeah, food. Yeah, but it's... Like, it's everyday. Like, who else are you going to ask? Guess what? The everyday person can do donate a dollar, and the mm -hmm. dollar doesn't change your life. So who cares mm -hmm. if The Rock is asking for a donation? Mm -hmm. It's not for his pocket because mm -hmm. he doesn't need it. Yeah. It's for the victims of Maui. Now, if there's fraud or something, that's a separate, that's issue. A separate issue. But the videos that we reacted the to response, yeah. were, were in response to, like, Man, these super rich people are asking normal people to donate. Well, I mean, so what's the criteria? It's like, oh, if you're worth more, less than $50 million, then you should go ahead and make the video. Or no, you're worth 55. Don't make the video. Man, two of the hugest stars 
in the U.S., platforms that are humongous, reach that is humongous. Oprah says, you know what? Your 30-page book, I think, is excellent. And it could be a piece of shit. Guess what? You're going to go shoot to number one because everybody that follows Oprah is going to buy the fucking book. Yeah. Guess what? If she says, hey, donate a little bit, and all those people donate a dollar, hey, it's... It's a huge amount of money that she can draw mm -hmm. for the victims of Hawaii. The Rock is half Samoan. It's something he takes deeply serious. Mm -hmm. I doubt there's real. I don't fraud. think. The, I don't think. I think. I, I don't think fraud is in. The I think the Rock is is safer in this than Oprah because Oprah has a lot of has property in, in Maui, not in, in Hawaii in general, and nothing has ever happened to her property. None, none of the disasters have ever touched her, her any of her stuff. And then what I'm hearing, this could be just rumor. All that area they got burnt, once it's settled and everything is cleaned up, she, they're saying that she's probably going to be the one to try to buy that land. Because she's she owns a lot of land, almost the damn near whole island. Oh, I, that's something I, I See, that's what I'm telling okay. you. I was investigating. I'm like, uh -huh. man, are you trying to own the whole island? Because she owns a, a ridiculous amount of land. I can't even remember the amount of acres mm -hmm. that she owns. And the last time, I believe, the last time there was a natural disaster, it got destroyed. Her stuff didn't. And then I think a, a year or something later, she ended up buying that land. Yeah, I mean. Based on, I don't know if that's rumor or not, because I don't know if what's true I, and what's not I, true I, anymore. I, but I, that's what I heard and that's what it, what I read. Say, say, say that's the case, right? Like, it's not, you know, the one has nothing to do with the other. Like, mm -hmm. she didn't cause the disaster. No, right? no, obviously. Like, yeah. but as, as far as, like, she gains nothing by putting out this this ad with the rock mm -hmm. to try to get people to donate. She gains nothing. She's not going to make money. Well, no one that. said it's from her gaining anything. Right. What they're saying is how do you have the, the ball. and I'm not and I'm not saying that, but they're saying how you got the balls to sit here and ask me for money and you're and you're worth 2 billion dollars. I just I mean, like how I you said, sitting there between the two of y'all worth 3 billion dollars and you're asking people that make $25,000 a year or less to donate anything? Even if it's a dollar, they're like, nah, y'all don't need, y'all should be able to cover that yourselves. That's how people are looking at it. Sure, I, I but the lo the logic is just off because forever and a day it has been famous celebrities mm -hmm. that come out and 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 put these free concerts, mm -hmm. you know, sing, you know, the Rolling Stones that make a hundred million dollars a year we put on a free concert to help the victims of xyz like they but they, that's didn't that's different they're actually putting on a free concert but they're I, actually my, doing something my, for free that's actually my, different than saying hey guys we opened up a, a, an account for you to guys to deposit money so that's not the same but thing my point is they they do stuff where they they earn nothing whatever it's just to you use celebrity you mm. they're using their celebrity mm. to benefit the victims yeah i think this is a scenario where you have two people that are humongously famous yeah huge celebrities and they're just using their celebrity to try to help victims yeah and right away poor people are like we broke how dare you ask for money from me mm -hmm. like i'm broke nobody right. helps me out like you're gonna put a poor person like what yeah. nobody would care but i don't think you should put a poor person i think you should put maybe a c-list celebrity who's put, a multi-millionaire no you could put you could put like somebody like michael blackson right michael blackson is not an a-list celebrity he's a b-list maybe a b or c-list celebrity so you put him on there he's famous he's a millionaire but guess what no one's gonna receive it from him as man i understand the rock is representing how hawaii because that's where he's from so mm -hmm. that's why he's speaking but I think that if they were smart, I think they, if they were smarter, I think they would have got somebody that's not as famous, not as rich, but still famous, but not as rich to deliver that same message. And I think it would have came off a lot easier Look, and a lot better. You could easily have put Timothy Charlemagne. He's an actor, mm -hmm. been in a few movies. Mm -hmm. But the question is reach, mm -hmm. right? Like... The Rock and Oprah's reach as far as their what audience. You, but what are you talking about? You get somebody to do a video, you put it on your own platform. Hey, guys, I donated $5 million to this fund right here. But he's not the one talking. It's the same thing. You, if uh -huh. I, Let's say I'm a, a B-list celebrity. Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm famous. And I'm worth $5 million. That's my net worth. You get me to, you get me, you start the fund, whatever, however you want to do it. And I get on, I do the video, I get on your page. When I'm on your, you post it, I'm on your page, and you let me deliver the message, and you say, I donated $5 million. Oprah posted, I donated $5 million to this fund, The Rock, to this fund. Guess what? People are going to look at it like, oh, so they donated. They don't have to be the pioneers. They could just been, I donated to that fund, 
So you guys, please jump on board and help us out. That's it. I think that would have been. A, you know, it would have been a better uh, message because that's why I, you. I, that's I, why you I, slow I, responding because you know I, it's better I, that I'm, way. I'm giving you time to speak. Go ahead. Make your point. Go ahead. Because I, I just, this is, I, don't, I just don't see. So there's gonna be someone that says, "Let me go to Wikipedia." Damn, the plot's worth six million dollars. This motherfucker asking me for money. But that's not the same thing. Like, like, but it's, there's always no. gonna be that same person. Because six I, million dollars is not enough. Come on, it's just. It's not enough to for, for relief. I don't understand what is the big issue. They're super famous. And they, there's always super famous people right. asking for donations. Right. Always. Right. Uh, uh, Katrina it's not, a, it's not about super famous. It's about super rich. That's the problem. Super, su okay. Super rich and famous. Okay. Katrina happened. You have all these celebrities, all super rich, mm -hmm. asking for donations. Right. 9 9-11 happens. Every month, everybody was making commercials and for donations. Like, mm. it just, it's, it's par for the course. It's not, take out. Take out The Rock and put uh, uh, Brad Pitt or somebody else. You know, it's, okay, they're super rich and they're asking for donations. It's the fact you're going to put a... The reason why you put a super famous person out there is to draw more eyes. And if you get, again, if you get 10,000 more people to donate mm -hmm. because The Rock has 400 million followers, mm -hmm. guess what? That's 10,000 more donations. That's just the way I see it. If you put a... A C celebrity that has two two million followers yeah. is not gonna have the same impact. The right. dude has almost half a billion eyeballs on him. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, at, well, at, I guess. Um, uh, well, we we agree to disagree. I guess we agree to disagree. <laughs> we agree to disagree, but I didn't think it was that big. I don't right. think it was a big deal either. I'm just telling you. I'm what just the, shocked. That I'm this, just telling you what the, what the people are sure, saying. Sure, I'm just shocked that all. that is an actual legitimate response. But comment below. Let me know. <laughs> All right, next next video. What we got on on, on the list? We got uh, our passport, passport bros. Brothers. This is a discussion we had with with the lead attorney. Shout out to the lead. Interesting topic about the passport bros. We got a little video we're gonna respond to about passport bros. I thought it was kind of funny. So let's say you and your homeboy are staying at the same spot. Your girl is coming, and she's bringing a girl with her for your homeboy. And you <laughs> open the door, and you be like. Dang, I want them both. You don't know mm. what you're doing. El Guapo. Ah, oh, this dude. <laughs> Please stop thinking passport bros are dusty and broke. Let's go. If you watched my last video, I was speaking to the amount of black men that are currently in Cartagena. If you're looking for a man, just know that um, the reason you can't find him a black man specifically is because he's in Colombia already. <laughs> what the um, what the numbers are looking like, and when I tell you that my whole flight was full of black men traveling after <laughs> black men, they come into Colombia, baby. That's why you can't find them. They're all here. So. Just to be clear, what made this very interesting to me, and this is not my first time in Cartagena, however, my first time in Cartagena was during the pandemic, and so it just wasn't nearly as busy. So this was my first time experiencing Colombia, I think in a more um, realistic form of just what, you know, the average flight consists of. And it was a... Let me read this real fast. There's clearly a subculture of passport bros that have no issue dating the women they want in the U.S. and also enjoying something exotic as well. Boy, it's nice when you have the options. Let's go. Extremely large amount of black men. And for reference, I'm a full-time travel content creator, which means I am traveling all around the world, often on flights all the time. And I can honestly say that it is very rare for me to see a large number of black men on a flight that I'm on. It is Listen. very, 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 very rare. So to arrive and have a flight full of men, uh, but also to see other flights full of men. And the customs line was crazy long. So when I say that um, there were black men everywhere, I literally mm. mean there were black men everywhere. But what, what was the most jarring to me <laughs> is the realization They don't always that look like that. I think there's a lot <laughs> I've of been on a few of those flights. And there's a lot of people <laughs> that are like, oh, it's just dusties. It's just broke men. It's just men that other women... Read what she says. These men were fine. She put that text up, not me. Let's go. Wouldn't date. I saw lots of very attractive men. I saw lots of men who looked like they had means. They, you know, they looked like they had their stuff to. 
the spectrum of fine was represented. Oh, I thought it was just broke dusties, fat men, short men, men that couldn't get a girl in the United States. But Shorty is breaking ranks. She's not holding the line. And she's telling, and I appreciate her. Tell the truth, Ma. What are you seeing? Yeah, that they were they were dressed well. They had good luggage. Like th- these were. She's even looking at their luggage. We're not men that you're just like, oh, girl, nobody wants them. Um, and so for me, the 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 video really just came from the actual shock of, oh, y'all really be outside with it. Y'all are really coming to Colombia, and this is the type of time that you're on. Yep. And I say that because. I didn't just see men like, okay, cool, like you're 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 going to Colombia with your homeboys. What was the most shocking to me as as I was waiting for my Uber, there were women in Listen. club dresses picking up men, and the time was very much like, oh, you've been here before, but it's your homeboys' first time. All right, stop it right there. <laughs> I, I think that's very the last part she said is very much factual, mm. where she said. There were girls there waiting, and it's it's the homeboy bringing his boys mm-hmm. to say, "Hey, you need to come and check this out." Because I think that's facts. I mean, I, I've been on a plenty of those trips, and it's a mix. You get you can see people of means, mm-hmm. people that that look like they have no means. Mm-hmm. But I think that's kind of the beauty of the passport bro culture. It really doesn't matter, right? I mean, like. At the end of the day, you're able to find whatever you want. It's like what we discussed before. If you're trying to find a wife, you'll be able to find a wife. If you're just trying to take your but, boys but and wh- have a great time, you, you'll be able to do But will you that. find a wife for real, man? Because a lot of those girls that are over there, yeah, they'll treat you that way. And they'll do all these things that these women out here wouldn't do. But it's because they know you came from here and they want some of that. They want some of the bag. They want some of that, that money that you're bringing to Colombia. So is it realistic that you're gonna find a wife over there that wants you for you? I don't think so. But I think it's the same thing over here. There, there are a lot of females here. I agree with that. That mm-hmm. they're not gonna mess with you if you mm-hmm. broke, mm-hmm. right? Like, mm-hmm. there has. It's not saying they only mess with you because you have some level of success, mm-hmm. but they have a level that like, hey, if you're not worth X, Y, Z, or you can't do this that for me, like you're not the kind of dude I'm gonna mess around with. So honestly. Yeah, but the, uh, but the thing is, I've seen situations where, not just Colombia, even Dominican Republic, mm-hmm. you'll go to these countries, right, if you're a passport bro, and you'll pick up a girl, and if you're looking for, for a wife, I think that's the wrong place, because those girls over there will play the game, and I'm telling you, they uh, will facts. absolutely make you think that they want to marry yes. you, they're serious, they, they want you for you, next thing you know, you find a way to get them to America, you, they become a citizen because of you, yes. now they're here. And then they leave you. Yes. They got what they wanted. They will play the game for years. I believe but I'm trying to tell you. That's I'm because I've seen it happen with a, a few people that I know personally. So it's a little now. If you're going over there to have fun, if you're going over there because you want to be treated like a king, your majesty type vibes, then absolutely. Because over here, it's not going to happen. happen. <laughs> it's going to be ultra right. expensive. Ultra. So for over there, you come over there with a few hundred bucks and. They be treating you like a king. You're good. Just on that. No, you're good. But I mean, <laughs> you know, it's it's, it's you know, hit or miss. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, and and again, if you're a person of success, mm-hmm. right, and you meet a female that say, okay, you're you're at a hundred and she's at fifty or sixty, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're always gonna look at like, mm, why is she really? Is she really? You know. What is her true intentions? Because right. you will always have that that suspect attitude. Mm-hmm. And then, it, you know, it's kind of like blind faith almost. Like you got to hope mm-hmm. you're making the right decision. And it can be, you know, same way over there. You kind of hope you're making the right decision. Right. If you decide to go ahead and go through that process. Look, as, as, as an attorney that's done immigration law for over 10 years, I've seen... Mm. I've seen, I've sat down with couples where it's clearly <laughs> like, hey, how, th- what is Joe sitting here with this dime? Like, it just did not match. Well, clearly. Right? So I've seen those scenarios, but at the same time. And it time, ain't because he got a big wiener. Right. I, I, you know, <laughs> it ain't, and, it ain't and, a big deal. It is, right? But you see, you also, there, there are success stories, but, you know, the whole concept where she's saying, like, 
apparently there's a belief that only broke and dusty people that can't get females over here are going over there is completely false mm. i think oh no i, I don't you I get think it's false fit, sure. you know i think it's the opposite yeah i mean if you, i mean shit i mean if you're wise with your money and you want to have a good time like in today's day yeah uh, it's been a few years for me but you sit down at a club you get two bottles with your, you and your girl and your mm -hmm. boy and his girl, mm -hmm. and then, you know, and laugh for five minutes and it's $600 and you're still 30 minutes in the night. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, or you're, you're a group of single guys and, you know, an hour in and there's a $1,500 bill mm -hmm. and you ain't talked to a female yet. You just got there and ordered three <laughs> bottles. Like, you haven't done nothing yet. Right. You translate that overseas, man. That could be a week of fun. Like you yeah. just, I mean, I mean, it's just different levels. Oh no, of course, of course. But the whole concept of what she's saying is, oh, uh, I'm just realizing. Yeah. My flight was full of. You that know, mean that, that over here, these women out here need to get their act together. That's what that means. It, it's it's challenging. It, get their act know, together. It, it, it's a challenge, <laughs> and you know, and and facts is facts. Yeah. You know, there you can go. The, the Colombian, Venezuelan, they're beautiful, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and you can find them in every color: black, white, blonde, mm -hmm. tall, skinny, chubby. Like, you can find some beautiful women over there. Yeah. And guess what? They also treat you like a king. Yeah. Now yeah. it's up to you to figure out. Right, right. You yeah, know, the like, real intentions. The real mm -hmm. intentions. But yeah, I mean, I, 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 I agree with my man, who obviously, is, you know, I guess he's trying to say like, nah, it's. It's not just only broke people nah, going over there. It's some clean, good-looking dudes. She yes. said it herself. Yes. So yes, we, I, we agree on that. But that was an interesting video. I, yeah. I thought to have a female come on and say, "Where all the black men are? They are. They are the plane that they is the Columbia." The <laughs> Facts, man. That's what it is. So what's right, the next thing? The next one, it's 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 a controversial. Oh I don't know if I, I it's believable or not. Yeah, man. But you have. Tucker Carlson interviewing a gentleman. He's been on some other interviews that apparently when Barack Obama was a candidate or was in the Senate in Chicago mm -hmm. and was about to become a candidate, this guy says he had... Well, he said this was in 1999, though. Yeah, but he happened. knew... He, he, had, he had interacted oh, with okay. Barack when he was a senator in Chicago. Okay. And apparently... That Barack smoked crack with him. Oh, no, nah, let's that, get it. Let's watch that he video. had uh, some let's homosexual let's, activity. Let's hear from the quote unquote horse's yes, mouth. Let's see. Here's an explosive and shocking story that you will see tonight on former Fox News propagandist Tucker Carlson's Twitter blog, I guess is what it is. Tucker Carlson will be interviewing the man who had sex with Barack Obama and also observed Obama doing crack cocaine. Uh, if you're wondering why you didn't hear about this sooner and why this is news in 2023, it's because the guy that Tucker has decided to interview in an apparently desperate attempt to rescue his failing Twitter show after being fired from Fox News is a formerly convicted con man who has been arrested multiple times and whose claims have not been presented with even a shred of evidence. So here's the promo from Tucker Carlson. Um, this will be airing, air, I don't even know what airing means. It will be posted to X as a zeet. Tucker will be zeeting this tonight. <laughs> what? A man who has- The terminologies that they changed Obama because it's X. In uh, it's not Twitter anymore. Uh, Let's take okay. a look at the preview. You're just a guy who's in town for the night, and it sounds like you're looking to party. Yeah. Pulled up in a bar outside, and there's this guy that's introduced to me as Barack Obama. I had given Barack $250 to pay for Coke. I start putting a line on a CD tray to snort, and next thing I know, he's got a little pipe and he's smoking. So I just started rubbing my hand along his thigh to see where it was going, and it went the direction I had intended it to go. Even though you had sex with him twice, you did cocaine with him, watched him smoke crack twice. You had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was. Who said? The obvious question was, what was Obama like on crack? Um, is it your sense that that's who Obama is, just transactional, or that he's bisexual, or like, what is this? It definitely wasn't Barack's first time, and I would almost be willing to bet you it wasn't Obama. 
Wow. This guy's running for president, and incredible information comes out that he's smoking crack and having sex with dudes. That seems like a story. Well, it would be a story if the media really cared about telling people the truth. All right, so, <laughs> you know. Let's stop yeah, it there. Yeah, stop let, it. Let, let, let's, we, his image is completely ruined. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to take him serious no more. If he, the next president, the next time a Democrat decides to run, and he yeah, endorses he's a, him. He's a big. He ain't yeah. go, his endorsements ain't gonna mean jack squat anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't think about it that way. But I just I find it hard to believe. And plus, like you said, there's no evidence to the yeah. fact outside of the guy who's already missing a tooth. How many people do you think will show up when, when if Barack Obama if this if this is true? How many people do you think is gonna show up to one of his rallies to promote the next candidate? Because that's what he does. He'll come out, do a quick little rally right, to push the to next, support the yeah, next for sure. He, ain't nobody it, nobody it's I mean, gonna be a lot it, it less would, people they he, put, put it this way he wouldn't get invited he wouldn't right. be invited it, it'll be people showing up because people are going to support him and they, oh we don't believe it but even if it's true and it and it's and it's confirmed that it's true you're still gonna have people show up just like you have trump fans that show up regardless you can have obama fans that show up regardless but i think that it's gonna be a lot less people no i definitely so. he, I, don't, I don't think he would get invited i know <laughs> right i know he makes millions of dollars per Do year doing speaking engagements exactly <laughs> that would definitely exactly hurt but there's no evidence no proof right exactly there, there's never been any i don't believe typically it. when there's smoke there's fire yeah like okay uh bill clinton used to cheat a lot well yeah there's plenty of smoke yeah. to prove that fire right but yeah i mean there's there's never been anything I mean, he's been squeaky clean. Yeah. Like, I mean, honestly, he's he has, yeah, yeah. As far yeah, he's as, got great swag. Like, he's. I mean, he did. He got whatever, a lot of charisma, regardless of policy or whatever. But it, he did what he did, and he's never had any big controversy in the sense of anything yeah. like this. So, I'm gonna call bullshit on this story. I think so too, man. All right. Even though I'm not a huge fan of his, I mean, I'm indifferent with him. To me, it's whatever. I'm not like. Obama, like whatever, he, but I don't think this is true. I think he he served the purpose. He yeah. had an image. He he yeah. he he did thing. I mean, man, he crossed lines that never been crossed yeah, before. Yeah. No, barriers for sure, for and stuff sure, like that. Sure. Outside of being a good or bad president, I think what yeah. he did was just incredible. Yeah, just yeah no the fact that he made it. But That's anyway, right. we're gonna wrap things up with yes, that. Sir. Yes, Those sir. are our three videos. Everybody, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well to the channel. Right here, notify. Please comment. Let's talk yeah, about it. You don't agree? Let us know. We love this discussion. Yes. We see you next time. Peace. Peace. We out. We out. Boom.